Hello, good morning, afternoon, or whatever it might happen to be in your neck of the woods. So, uh, we're doing the third uh, monthly, I mean, it's a little bit late for this one, but we're still doing the third monthly uh, Matsuno challenge. So, uh, long story short, this time is going to be a little bit of a different one. Now, before somebody points it out, yes, I know, technically speaking, he w Matsuno wasn't, you know, the full, full thing behind this one. Um, as I understand, he was consulted, but only for part of it. Uh, it's still part of the series. It actually happens uh, around the same time that Lux uh, takes place, uh, if you uh, if you haven't, haven't uh, played this one before. I'm just going to go ahead and assume that not a lot of folks maybe will have seen OB64, since it is kind of uh, kind of harder to get to than the other ones, uh, since uh, N64 emulation is a little bit of a pain. So don't worry, I'll include that. Uh, I'll include links on you know how to do all that uh, in, the, uh, in the description of this afterwards. Uh, but the long and short of it, uh, there is actually a mod, a, uh, a rebalance mod that's been uh, it's been kind of in the works for about a couple of years now, give or take, by a very dedicated local community. Um, long story short, they've been going through, they've been you know tweaking little things, fixing things, fixing some of the some of the language, some of the stats, some of the everything uh, from the original game in order to you know kind of bring out the best of it. Um, you know, having uh, having played the original for the first time only a year ago, I have to say I was kind of blown away by how much uh, how much stuff they actually had in there. And the nice thing about this mod is it ends up bringing out some of the features that you didn't get to see very much. So, for example, uh, your basic soldier guys, I can go ahead and show you uh, those guys in just a sec here. You have your uh, your basic soldier guys that you have over here, use them to fill out, uh, fill out your different squads and all that kind of thing. And before, they actually didn't really uh, have, uh, have much going for them. So now you actually can, uh, uh, they, they actually come with some decent, more decent equipment. There's a reason to use the Legion system, which was cool. You basically could connect a bunch of your teams together, have them going around formations and everything. But due to the fact that they're limited by, well, needing to use a bunch of these soldier guys to fill in the ranks, uh, you typically didn't end up using that as much. But with them being better units now, you know, it's a, it's a, a good bit, it's a good bit better. Um, on top of that, uh, there's just been, like, overall rebounces of everything, some fixes of some stuff. So, for example, uh, one popular example was the Coltriome. It's one of the uh, one of the spears. It turns out a lot of them were actually just weird um, kind of English type situations. So uh, hang on, I think I have the actual proper translation somewhere. Yeah, it was a uh, Corne de la Crone is what uh, what it was originally supposed to be called. It was literally the unicorn spear. <laughs> and uh, yeah, um, it, it turns out a lot of in a lot of cases it sounded like somebody said something verbatim and then you know somebody just put it in. Um, like, I think there was, uh, there was a hammer of some description that, that had some really bizarre name that kind of makes sense when you when you actually read the uh, new name that they gave it. Anyhow, that's kind of going off on a tangent here. So, so yeah, the uh, the challenge for this month is to take this mod and just see how far you can get on an Iron Man run. So if you don't know what that is, it's essentially like how far you can get in the game uh, without loading. Um, and then as, like, as soon as you hit your first game over screen, that is your run, that is how far you got. Um, that doesn't mean you can't, you know, say between sessions or whatever else. This just basically means that it's like, you know, as soon as your leader's dead or as soon as your HQ is captured, that's it. That's your run done. Um, so I'm just curious to see how far folks can get in the mod, you know, whether they're playing it blind or not. Uh, personally, I always love going into this stuff blind, and I was actually going to be uh, streaming uh, my run of this uh, coming up relatively soonish. So hopefully going to be doing that this week. And, um, and yeah, so dang fun run. Uh, again, there's going to be uh, links there in order to go get, uh, go get the mod. Go get everything else. There really is not much information uh, or not much knowledge needed. You literally just get uh, get the emulator, pop it in a folder, download the ROM, pop it in that same folder. You're good to go. Probably just and I just threw my controller. Genius. Anyway, um, so you know, just hook up a controller or something like that, or just play it on the keyboard. It's perfectly playable. Again, old games are going to be like that. But uh, but yeah, absolutely fantastic game here. Uh, really interesting mod here as well. Um, it's actually uh, pretty uh, pretty near to completion. I believe they're on version 0.91 or some such at this point. So I believe they've accomplished most of what they want to accomplish. Um, again, there might be a few bugs here and there. Bear in mind, if you run into the graphical glitches, that's a lot of that <laughs> was on the original N64 version as well. Um, so yeah, I expect to see that there, like especially transitioning screens. You get some little artifacting and whatever else. Um, but yeah, aside from that, give it a go. Let's see how you do. Uh, I technically don't really have any way to verify, you know, whether somebody really did that far in an Iron Man run, but I'll trust you folks to uh, kind of stay uh, stay nice on this one. And uh, let's see if we can keep Evan from winning a third month in a row, huh? <laughs> All right, have a good one. See you soon, and good luck.